An Action News Jax investigation got results for local parents. After years of being overlooked, students at two local schools are getting class pictures. Action News Jax, Paige Kelton is live in the newsroom. Paige, this is great. And it all started when you exposed a serious disparity in school picture day. Yeah, John, that's right. I found students in Jacksonville's poor neighborhoods were being cut out of the picture, literally. Their student ID cards were blank. Since our story aired last Wednesday, dozens of photographers have come forward. And today, local students donned cap and gowns and smiled for the camera. With every pop of the flash, every snap of the shutter, these students at Rufus E. Payne are doing something they haven't done in years, taking class pictures. I came and I talked to Ms. Jones, and she told me about how they hadn't had pictures in over eight years, so I knew I had to stay and help out. Raven Griffin is a photographer in Orlando, but she went to this school 13 years ago. When teachers here saw our story, they called Raven, knowing she knew the value of a memory captured in time. Having those pictures is really being able to look back and have those good memories. Memories denied because of where the schools are located. We created this map of the 30 schools without picture day. Most are in low income neighborhoods. I believe with that, the prices possibly could have been too high. Considering the neighborhood that we're in. Being a parent myself and having experienced missing out on certain things and not having photos for that, m my heart went out to the parents right away. Charles Sutton saw our story and started an online movement. So far, 29 photographers have stepped up. And on this Friday, the last day of school, students at Martin Luther King Jr. Academy will get a digital image for $1. But Sutton tells me his support won't stop there. One of the things we're going to be looking at over the summer is trying to set up a foundation uh, to help ensure that this doesn't happen again. Two schools we can cross off this map with a promise of more to come next school year. That makes 28 schools to go. In a statement, school superintendent Dr. Nikolai Vidi says he's thrilled at the response we've received and that the district will do whatever it can to help facilitate. In the newsroom, Paige Kelton, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax. Great stuff, Paige. Uh, for a link to the Facebook page and GoFundMe account created, just go to our website, actionnewsjax.com, and click on this story.